Hello and welcome friends, my name is Frenzy. Today we are taking a look at the Galil, um, or the CR-56, um, as some might call it. It's essentially the Galil, um, which I will refer to it as such going forward. Again, you can see what I'm running here on it, and you'll see this throughout the rest of the video. Again, the Monolith Suppressor, um, the Zodiac Barrel, the Commando Foregrip, and the 45 round Mag. Here's where you may differ a little bit. Um, I really like the VLK Optics on it. Again, I think it is a pretty good gun at range. Again, you could detach a rear grip instead uh, if you wanted to get a little bit more recoil control and you're more into iron sights. Totally up to you. Again, one of the things that I really like about the Galil uh, is it, it does pretty well at range, um, but it, it does it does kill, I think, a little bit faster than the Growl. Again, the Growl is just a laser beam, almost a sniper rifle replacement. Um, a full auto sniper, it's it's pretty insane. And so, again, if I had to say, do you take the Galil or the Growl? Definitely, probably the Growl right now is still superior, um, particularly kind of in this SMG AR meta. Um, in particular, right, people are, again, getting the advantage of an SMG up close, and again, using being able to use a Growl at extreme distances. But you'll see here, the, the Galil does actually do pretty well at long range. Again, it's definitely not a beam as the... Um, as the growl is, but it's still pretty strong. Again, I think its real strength is the fact that it, it does kind of melt people pretty quickly. Again, uh, it has a little bit slower rate, fire rate than the growl for sure, uh, and but it does just kind of make up for it with pure power. Again, it is a pretty powerful gun. So again, if, you, if you're kind of getting bored of always using the growl, I think it'd be a great fit. I also think it would be a solid fit as well, potentially replacing um, the growl. Uh, maybe if you're doing like a sniper loadout, having the Galil and a sniper, because the, the Galil can really melt people, particularly if you're getting headshots up close, um, which I think sometimes the Growl kind of struggles up close and personal. It, again, it's it's more medium, long range of a gun. It, it does do well as well up close, but I think the Galil could really shine in that kind of loadout situation. But that is it for this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Again, these are just going to be kind of some quick breakdowns of various guns, uh, kind of going over them, especially newer guns. But hopefully you liked it. If you did, hit that like button, comment. I would love to hear what you have to say. And uh, I will always see you next time. Thank you all so much for watching the video. If you want to see me play live, come over to twitch.tv slash frenzy1. I'll see you there. I've got enough bolts for everybody. Relax.